Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and this is a pair of 2019 Burton Tourist snowboard bindings that are designed for anyone who likes skinning or hiking in the backcountry. They're for intermediate to advanced level riders. I want a stiff boot that has a negative style flex that's easier and more mobile while you're skinning up the mountain. There's actually flex notches within the shell panels uh, along that backside that allow it to like kind of shift this direction. And then same thing along the lateral and medial sides of that midstep. It's kind of like articulation, but not. It actually allows the boot to uh, flex uh, in the uh, kind of obtuse uh, angle direction. But it still has a good amount of support panels along that backside, a little heel counter, and the rubberized toe box. So when you're hiking up, you can kick your boot into the snow and you're not gonna worry about like jamming your foot up. You'll see that there's actually a, a speed zone lacing system. There's two different pull handles. Uh, one that tightens the lower section, one that tightens the upper section. Uh, generally when I ride, I, I tend to keep these upper sections super tight and these lower sections loose for better uh, circulation. But it's great that these things have New England ropes are ultra strong. And when you're hiking up, it's easy to like kind of loosen those things and kind of move about. Whereas if you were in a traditional lace, it'd be a little bit uh, more difficult to like tighten and loosen depending on what you're doing in your hike. But there's a cool thing about it. You can actually convert these speed zone systems actually into a lacing system. There is lace loops basically throughout the boot too. Um, and then there's like the stuff on the inside. Now the tourist features, you know, a stiff flex rating, even though it has like kind of like fore and aft, it has a negative style flex. Um, it does still have that tough cuff uh, liner lacing system. That tough cuff actually goes up fairly high. It has a lot of lateral and medial kind of stiffness. And then there's inside also uh, the sleeping bag reflective foil. That's reflective foil that kind of reflects heat back towards your body to keep you warmer for longer. Uh, one thing to note though is like, I think Burton's website still shows that the tourist has a, uh, a rebounds um, kind of like internal it does not as you see have rebounds uh, technology so kind of keep that in mind uh, and then of course underneath your foot is this this is a Vibram Eco Step outsole. It's the same outsole that you'll find in the Driver X. This is the most rugged outsole that Burton offers. There's kind of an EVA style midstep, and then of course there's that super rugged and dense and really deep uh, Vibram outsole for for hiking around. This is a, a boot that's very very mobile. You know, you need you need some play in it when you're skinning and hiking up, so you can have a good day. You don't want to skin up and basically a ski boot. So Burton, <laughs> Burton offers a little bit of a little bit of flex in it. And then of course is a uh, this thing. This is a lifeliner. Uh, it's custom heat moldable, um, but you can use your body heat to activate its molding properties. Has perforations throughout so it's breathable. Support panels on the lateral medial side. Uh, Velcro to keep the tongue nice and centered. And then the inside is actually uh, kind of a features dry ride heat cycle. That means that uh, if you have a colder section in your boot, uh, the warmer sections will kind of like feed warmth to those cooler sections. There's internal uh, J bars too, and then there's that level two footbed. It has an antimicrobial coating, moisture weakening top, ESS support shank, a little bit of a heel cradle to it. Uh, overall, though, if you if you someone who likes to backcountry, you like to skin, you want a boot that's mobile but still rigid enough to do a lot of different things with a lot of aggressive tread. Um, you should check out the Tourist and, you know, again, it features that shrinkage footprint reduction technology. So this size 11 boot actually leaves an imprint on the snow of a size 10. Uh, check out the Tourist at the house by selecting the link below in the description. Leave a comment or a question. Let me know what you think of these things here. Uh, subscribe to the channel there. Check out more vids there. And hopefully I'll see you on snow. Peace.